We welcome you back to Friday Night Smackdown, just nine nights before the WWE Vengeance pay-per-view. But tonight, Drew McIntyre goes one-on-one -on -one with an old rival in Jinder Mahal as he prepares for his world title defense against Braun Breaker. Also tonight here in Seattle, the number one contender for the United States Championship, AJ Styles set to go one-on-one -on -one with one-third of Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser. That is all tonight here on Friday Night Smackdown. We are live from the Climate Pledge Arena yet again from Seattle, Washington. And kicking us off tonight, a man who has been the center of controversy alongside the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. A whole lot to dig in with that situation coming up here on SmackDown. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, it was just seven nights ago. We're going to take you back momentarily. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, a successful main event victory against one half of Alpha Academy, Chad Gable. But the story here is after the bell, Cody Rhodes exit in the ring, Austin Theory coming from the crowd, ambushing Cody Rhodes from behind at ringside as you see here. This is of course stemming after Austin Theory fell to Cody Rhodes back in Minneapolis on April 16th at Backlash, a rivalry that started back in February at WrestleMania. When Austin Theory called out the returning Cody Rhodes and defeated him on the grandest stage of them all. Now that Cody Rhodes has tied things up between him and Theory, it looks like the man from A-Town isn't done with the American Nightmare. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. But we will get a conclusion to Cody versus Theory. Because coming up in just nine nights at Vengeance in Vancouver, what a massive matchup that has been signed. 30 minute Iron Man match. Who is gonna be the better man? The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, all day Austin Theory. We will find out once and for all in just nine nights, Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada Vengeance. That is a huge matchup that has been signed by management here on SmackDown after the ever-looming issue between Cody and Theory. Once again, Austin Theory defeated Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes won the rematch against Theory. Back at Backlash in Minneapolis. But it is time for the grudge matchup, the rubber matchup, to settle the score, and that is coming up at Vengeance 30-Minute Iron Man. As for SmackDown tonight, Austin Theory Set to go one-on-one -on -one with his old mentor from NXT, Johnny Gargano, who's been trying to build some momentum for himself as of late ever since getting drafted to SmackDown. So far, not so hot for Gargano. We have seen him take a loss to Cody Rhodes in recent weeks. Gargano is also part of the United States Championship Eliminator and fell in the matchup that features the man who is now the number one contender, AJ Styles. Gargano versus Theory tonight. A lot of momentum riding on the line. Especially for Austin Theory of all people. What a matchup that is signed for Vengeance. 30 minutes on the clock. Most falls in that, on that time will walk away the victor. And only one man will finally have the bragging rights between Theory and Cody come Vancouver, Canada at Vengeance. And again, tonight is all about momentum for Austin Theory. But really, it could be a bounce back victory for Johnny Gargano as well. This is a man who returned to WWE after about a 10-month hiatus. Back in November, really was dominant on Monday Night Raw alongside his former tag team partner, Tommaso Ciampa. The two men won the world tag team titles at the Royal Rumble at the beginning of this year, held them all the way to WrestleMania. And unfortunately, DIY falling apart in the WWE draft. Gargano here on SmackDown, Ciampa over on Monday Night Raw. Austin Theory looking good right now against Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling is down and out, and Theory delivering the knee. From what we understand, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes not in the building here in Seattle tonight. But I'm sure Cody is watching at home thinking about what Austin Theory did last week. The attack from behind, sending Cody into the ring apron, into the steel steps, and reminding Cody that this issue was far from over. We're going to get a settlement between Austin Theory and Cody Rhodes just nine nights away. They've already put on two fantastic wrestling matches with each other. Super competitive all the way through, and Theory 
may have just put the final nail in this matchup against Johnny Gargano. Into the cover, but Gargano able to get the shoulder up. Austin Theory does not want to come up short. This is Theory's first matchup since taking that loss to Cody Rhodes back on Sunday night, April the 16th at Backlash. Again, Theory re-emerged last week at ambushing Cody. Now back from bell to bell tonight. And he's not looking to come up short against Johnny Wrestling. Gargano again trying to build some newfound momentum for himself on SmackDown. Taking Theory down. A couple of axe hammers to the face. Oh, Gargano's picking up speed now. Nobody does it like Johnny Wrestling inside of that ring. Grand Slam champion in NXT at one time, and Gargano slingshot to his former protege. Austin Theory eats the turnbuckle. And Gargano's not done. He's got his eyes set on Austin Theory. He'll be going for the submission hold there, but Theory able to counter out a clothesline to Gargano. Theory gonna slow the pace down as Gargano is trying to ramp things up. Again, still to come on SmackDown tonight, two massive matchups signed in your main event. The man who will defend his World Heavyweight Championship at Vengeance against Braun Breaker, Drew McIntyre, set to go one-on-one -on -one with an old friend, and most importantly, an old rival in the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. Also still to come tonight, the number one contender for the United States Championship, AJ Styles, oh wait a minute here, Johnny Gargano, suicide dive to the outside, down goes Theory. Gargano throwing caution in the wind, all in the means of victory tonight. This brawl gonna continue on the outside of the ring. Austin Theory looking to have none of it as he sends Gargano right into the barricade. As we are mentioning, the United States Champion's number one contender, AJ Styles, he will face Gunther at Vengeance, but tonight he gets Ludwig Kaiser in a little bit of a warm-up match. All that and more still to come tonight for the Climb and Pledge Arena. Seattle getting a treat this week. A epic Monday Night Raw this past week featuring the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar versus Sami Zayn in the main event. Like what chaos and anarchy it was this past Monday. Now SmackDown tonight as we are on the road to Canada for the Vengeance pay-per-view and a whole tour of the North. Back inside the squared circle, Austin Theory's got Gargano, burning hammer position, spins him out under the blue thunder, at least a variation of it, sits out with it, almost had Gargano there, but he's able to pop the shoulder up, and your opening matchup continues. Johnny Gargano giving Austin Theory a run for his money tonight, and we shouldn't be surprised by that, Gargano the veteran here, Gargano wants the mentor of Austin Theory, oh wait a minute, Theory, look at this, beautiful Spanish fly from the second rope, that may do it, Gargano gets the shoulder up, Seattle, Washington coming unglued for Gargano versus Theory here to kick us off on SmackDown, Austin Theory, We've talked about it tirelessly over his career, young career so far, but he's got a lot of talent, a lot of arrogance, but certainly a lot of talent inside of that ring. Oh, the WWE Championship for just over a month last year, from August to September. Multiple matches with John Cena, again defeated Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. Austin Theory's already accomplished a lot in his young career, and he still has many more years of success here in WWE, whether we like his attitude or not. Johnny Gargano doesn't give a damn about that. Him and Theory no longer see eye to eye these days, and Gargano wants to build some momentum for himself here on the blue brand. Theory just taking Gargano's knee out from under him. Man can't, he can't walk, he certainly can't fight, and Theory knows that. Another ground and pound on Johnny Wrestling. Austin Theory, not only tonight is about building momentum, but it's also about sending a message to the man that defeated him at Backlash and the man he will meet in the 30-minute Iron Man match at Vengeance, Cody Rhodes. Theory knocking Gargano's head off with that lariat, outrunning him there. Did the young man from A-Town, and Johnny Gargano needs to start building some momentum, needs to get in the driver's seat. Austin Theory is all over Johnny Wrestling right now, and if this continues, Theory is going to be walking away with a victory. Power bomb to Gargano, and Austin Theory obviously not done, just chucking Gargano over the top rope, and the lifeless body of Johnny Wrestling up and over and down on the floor. Theory will certainly be happy with a count-out victory tonight. 
As Gargano is down and out on the outside, and he's taking a lot of offense by Austin Theory. Gargano showed signs of life here and there, but this has been majority offense in this match by Theory. Referees at a count of four. Gargano going to make his way back into the ring, but Austin Theory right there to send him right back over with that clothesline. Austin Theory wants to put at end of this matchup and turn his sights to nine nights at vengeance, but Theory with a suicide dive of his own. Austin Theory taking a page out of his old mentor's book, as we saw earlier in the matchup. And now, well, not on the outside, Theory's looking for a power bomb to Gargano. Austin Theory is pulling out some different maneuvers tonight that we have not seen out of his arsenal in quite some time, if ever. And I think it's all in the means, again, of sending a message to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, telling Cody that he is ready to go the distance, ready to battle it out for 30 minutes, all in the means of the bragging rights, all in the means of being the better man in their storied rivalry over these last couple of months. Gargano back into the ring, but to no avail as Austin Theory takes him down with the scoop slam there. Johnny Wrestling trying to get back into this. Wait a minute. Drop toe hold. Gargano going for the submission hold here. Gargano escaped out of nowhere on Austin Theory. And this may be all she wrote. Gargano's got it locked in tight. I don't know how much Gargano was really... has got the emphasis on that. He's taking a lot of offense here. But there's Theory trying to break out of it, and he does. Austin Theory almost got caught there. You see, just absolutely takes the momentum right out of the hands of Gargano again. Look at this, trying to cradle up Gargano. And that may be the knockout blow that gets Austin Theory's hand raised here in Seattle. Will that do it? No! Gargano continues to fight. What a matchup this has been to kick us off on SmackDown. Nine nights away from our next live premiere event, WWE Vengeance from the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, Canada. Wait a minute, Theory, kick to the gut. And this is one of the maneuvers that won him the WWE Championship last year. But Gargano survives again. Johnny Gargano wants to make a name for himself all over again here on SmackDown, but Austin Theory has got different plans. A-Town down to his former mentor. And that'll do it. Johnny Gargano putting up one hell of a fight. An awesome matchup to kick things off from Seattle. But Austin Theory is laser focused on Vancouver, Canada. He sent a message to Cody Rhodes tonight that Theory wants the bragging rights. Come vengeance and come the 30 minute Iron Man match. Here is your winner, Austin. Johnny Organo will live to fight another day, but tonight in Seattle belongs to that young man all day, Austin Theory. But who will be the better man in Nine Nights at Vengeance? Cody Rhodes versus Austin Theory. Round three in the 30-minute Iron Man match. Something's got to give in Vancouver. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. We're back inside the Climate Pledge Arena here in Seattle, Washington on Friday Night Smackdown. And we got ourselves a little bit of women's division action on the brand that currently houses the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions and Bianca Belair and Shotzi. Every woman always looking to build momentum in an ever-changing and ever-developing division. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event nine nights away, Sunday, May 14th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, we are heading to the north, Vancouver, Canada, 
for WWE Vengeance. Let's focus in on the action at hand here in Seattle. Raquel Rodriguez has had her issues with Queen Zelina Vega and Carmella over the last couple of weeks. Selena and Carmella have really been one-upping Raquel and using their numbers to her advantage. But as you see, it looks like Raquel has recruited Aaliyah to be in her corner tonight to try to even the score and to finally squash this beef with Selena and Carmella. Not a tag team matchup, a simple one-on-one -on -one affair here tonight in Seattle. Selena Vega set to go 1v1 versus Raquel Rodriguez. It was just recently here on SmackDown that the Women's Tag Team Championships were on the line. As we mentioned, the champions, Bianca Blair and Shotzi, they've been dominant ever since winning the gold back at WrestleMania. They've gone 2v2 up against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell off the grandest stage of them all, winning the titles there. A couple of weeks back, they took on Katana Chance and Caden Carter in their debut here on SmackDown. Unsuccessful it was for them. And again, recently, retaining the gold over Nikita Lyons and Zoe Stark. And even though this is just a one-on-one -on -one matchup tonight, two teams in the SmackDown Women's Division that I'm sure would love to get their hands on Bianca and Shotzi and a shot at the gold. Got to look at this matchup as a potential number one contenders match, at least in a sense, but all remains to be seen. Obviously, Raquel with the power, Zelina with the speed here. Look at this, trying to roll up Raquel, steal the victory here on SmackDown, not just yet. Of course, over on Monday Night Raw, the WWE Women's Championship, which of course is brand mutual. Asuka retaining the championship on Monday Night Raw as of right now, and she will defend at Vengeance against the number one contender, Liv Morgan. This will be one hell of a matchup coming up in Vancouver. Sunday night, May the 14th, as Zelina into the cover here on Raquel. Able to get the shoulder up is the powerhouse. We have talked about here in recent months, Raquel has got a lot of potential to be a future star here in the women's division. Oh man, Zelina Vega to the outside. Doesn't give a damn about the potential. Wants the victory tonight. And wants it by any means necessary. Cross body takes down Raquel. And the powerhouse has found herself in trouble. At least she did for a moment. And again, you see Aliyah in the corner of Raquel tonight. Carmella in the corner of Zelina. There's an even playing field tonight in Seattle. At least for the first time in weeks, almost two months, between all these women. Zelina, Raquel trying to get back into the ring. Zelina having none of it, using those quick kicks to her advantage. And Raquel may be in trouble here. Zelina and Carmella have defeated Rodriguez in recent weeks. Will the addition of Aliyah change the blueprint for Zelina and Carmella tonight? And will Raquel be able to focus on the matter at hand? Nice basement drop kick into the cover. Will that do it on Zelina Vega? Not just yet. Powerhouse Raquel Rodriguez bringing Zelina to her feet. Going to whip her off here. What has Raquel got in mind? Oh, stiff forearm here. Oh, wait a minute. Raquel could be looking for that Raquel bomb. What a maneuver. And that'll do it. Zelina Vega getting squashed between Raquel and the, and the ring mat. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. And the even playing field tonight aids Raquel Rodriguez finally in victory here on SmackDown. Big time win for a woman with a whole lot of potential. Here is your winner, Raquel Rodriguez. Selena and Carmella have been using their numbers game to their advantage. But Aliyah keeping her eyes on Carmella, Raquel able to focus on the matter at hand, and that's a victory here on SmackDown. What well, is coming your way on the Eve of Vengeance is a channel member exclusive WWE Live event that will feature the World Tag Team titles on the line, Ricochet and Mustafa Ali defending the gold against Drew Gulak and J.D. McDonough. Hit the join button down below, become a channel member today to receive bonus Universe Mode episodes every single month. And again, that continues just 24 hours before Vengeance. WWE Live, the World Tag Team titles on the line, and so much more. We are back inside Climate Pledge Arena here in Seattle. And one third of Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser, set to battle the number one contender for the United States title, A. J. Styles. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
making his way to the ring, accompanied by Giovanni Vinci, representing Imperium. From Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser! It is coming up in nine nights at Vengeance. The United States Championship will be on the line. Imperium's ring general, Gunther, defends the gold against the new number one contender, the phenomenal AJ Styles. First time ever battle. The championship is on the line. Cannot wait to get to Vancouver, Canada to see what I'm sure is going to be an instant classic over the red, white, and blue gold. But tonight, Ludwig Kaiser has an opportunity to build some momentum on Gunther's behalf. And of course, the ring general, Gunther, undefeated since Imperium joined SmackDown back in the draft in November. The biggest win of his SmackDown career thus far coming back at WrestleMania when he dethroned the almighty Bobby Lashley, sent him packing to Monday Night Raw, and took away the United States Championship. Gunther also has already retained the United States Gold on our last WWE Live event, 24 hours before Backlash, which was available for replay for channel members only. Gunther retained over Wes Lee in an incredible matchup. Now Gunther sets his sights on the man who made his way through the United States Championship Eliminator over the course of a few weeks, AJ Styles. Kaiser trying to dethrone Styles' momentum. Oh, wait a minute here. It looks like AJ Styles is coming out alone. He's got Wes Lee in his corner tonight to even the playing field in this one-on-one -on -one affair. And his opponent, accompanied by Wes Lee from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal AJ Styles. Well, as we just mentioned moments ago, Wes Lee, the latest man to fall to the ring, General Gunther, in their matchup in Springfield, Illinois, at WWE Live just a couple of weeks ago. It looks like AJ Styles taking into the fact that Ludwig Kaiser was going to have Giovanni Vinci in his corner tonight. AJ recruiting Wes Lee to watch his back. Wesley fell fair and square to Gunther back at WWE Live, but I'm sure that young man would love to have another opportunity to get his hands on Imperium and possibly down the line a chance at the United States Championship. Nonetheless, AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Ludwig Kaiser right here tonight in Seattle on Friday Night SmackDown. As this matchup kicks off, I want to remind you that AJ Styles made his way through the United States Championship Eliminator. Two matches, three opponents for Styles. Initially defeated Johnny Gargano and Jinder Mahal in the triple threat matchup. And then originally was supposed to go one-on-one -on -one with Dexter Loomis. However, Dexter suffering an injury and has lost to Robert Roode. Back at WWE Live in Springfield, Robert Roode taking Dexter's place in that United States Championship Eliminator Finals match. But ultimately, AJ Styles was able to pull out the victory anyway and punch his ticket to fight Vengeance, or excuse me, to fight Gunther at Vengeance for the United States Gold. Ludwig Kaiser, I'm sure, is given strict orders by Gunther tonight to weaken the phenomenal AJ Styles. At the end of the day, weakened or not, 100% or not, Gunther's going to have a great chance, and you got to say would be the favorite in the United States title matchup at Vengeance. Undefeated, as we mentioned. Here on SmackDown, he's defeated Wes Lee, he's defeated Bobby Lashley, Drew Gulak, Tyler Bate. Luther has been on a roll for months here on the blue brand. There's a reason he is your current United States champion. Guther may be the favorite, but AJ Styles is not going to be an easy task. Will certainly be Guther's most likely most difficult task coming up at Vengeance. Former multiple time WWE champion, former United States champion himself. AJ Styles has been the man here on Friday Night SmackDown. The house that AJ Styles built, he likes to say. And Styles is looking to do it all over again. And it starts in nine nights for the United States title. Ludwig Kaiser going to the outside, but nowhere to run from Styles with that forearm. The number one contender for the United States Championship out to keep his momentum on course tonight. Got Wesley in his corner watching his back. Giovanni Vinci on the other side of the ring. Will Styles be able to get it done? 
You gotta wonder, is Styles mine already in Vancouver, Canada? He knows the task at hand, the undefeated, intimidating ring general Gunther. Styles gotta focus on the matter at hand tonight, but I'm sure he's already thinking about what it's gonna take to keep Gunther down. And if he pulls out maneuvers like that, a spiral tap, he may do just that. Doesn't keep Kaiser down tonight, but those rare moves out of the arsenal of Styles. Wait a minute here, Giovanni Vinci trying to take Styles' eye off the ball. And he's able to help Ludwig Kaiser get back into this matchup. And what a punt kick to the head of the phenomenal one. Imperium using their numbers tonight. And I'm sure Wesley on the other side of the ring keeping a sharp eye on Giovanni Vinci. Obviously, Wesley isn't going to get involved, but that's just the little bit of disrespect that Imperium doesn't mind throwing out from bell to bell. That distraction has really given Ludwig Kaiser the momentum in this contest. Not able to get the victory there, but Styles back into this matchup. And again, Giovanni Vinci is up on the apron. Mouth and off to the number one contender. Ludwig Kaiser goes for the clothesline. And Styles, snap German, takes down Kaiser. AJ laser focused tonight. AJ wants to send the message, I'm sure to the leader of Imperium, the ring general Gunther, the United States champion, saying he's gonna be his toughest task yet, saying it is not gonna be a walk in the park for Gunther come Vancouver, Canada. Oh, a nice elbow, nice shot by Ludwig Kaiser. Wait a minute here. Giovanni Vinci's trying to take the ref's eye off the ball, sliding that chair in the ring, but looks like Kaiser's got it handled at the moment. Figure four leg lock, Styles may be in trouble as he is nowhere near the bottom rope. A look at Styles trying to reverse the pressure. And Kaiser able to get out of it. Four is falling apart at the hands of Styles. This forearm there takes down Kaiser. And, uh, come on, again, again, Giovanni Vinci. Yelling and screaming at ringside, trying to distract AJ Styles. And at some point, whether West Lee's out here or not, referee's got to step in and has got to take care of business. As Giovanni Vinci has helped dictate the pace of this matchup from the outskirts. Styles doing a good, good job trying to fend it off, at least stay focused in this matchup. But at the end of the day, how many more times is Giovanni eventually going to be able to take AJ's eye off the ball? AJ, as we mentioned, former champion here in the WWE, and he has held the United States title before. He has been on a roll since getting drafted to Friday Night SmackDown. But right now, the numbers of Imperium has got Styles all kind of weary. And Ludwig Kaiser, look at these stiff elbow shots to the spine of Styles and just letting him crash and burn on the canvas below. Nonetheless, it's been a very interesting wrestling matchup th thus far. AJ Styles trying to send a message to Gunther. Ludwig Kaiser trying to weaken the phenomenal one for the ring general and nine nights at vengeance. It's been a great night of action on SmackDown already. Austin Theory, Johnny Gargano tearing down the house earlier tonight here in Seattle, and we still got a meeting of the minds. Two former rivals, Lockhorns yet again. AJ Styles goes down. We will see Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal in your main event coming up in moments here on SmackDown. Styles trying to get back into this. Oh, wait a minute. Signature strikes out of the phenomenal one. Unloading on Kaiser. Can AJ get back into this matchup? Will the phenomenal one continue to stay the course towards vengeance? Nice missile drop kick there. And again, Vinci's on the apron. And at some point, the referee's got to step in. We could not have this tonight. We could certainly not have this at vengeance. Or AJ Styles can kiss his United States Championship. Goodbye. Ludwig Kaiser taking down Styles. Not just yet as Styles gets the shoulder up. I want to rephrase what we mentioned there. I, I, meant to, I said AJ Styles United States Championship. I should have said AJ Styles opportunity at the United States Championship. Burning hammer to Kaiser. As Styles trying to get back into this matchup. Kaiser on the outside of the... Outside of the ring, the phenomenal one going to the air, but Imperium splitting the difference, and Styles crashes and burns at ringside. 
AJ is in trouble right now. He is in enemy territory, and Ludwig Kaiser is looking to take care of the number one contender for the United States title. Disrespecting AJ. Now look at this. Wrenching in on Styles. Remember that figure four a few minutes ago? And now on the outside of the ring, that offense is only going to be Hart and AJ even worse. A freeze out a count of seven. We may be nearing a double count out if these two men aren't careful. Ludwig Kaiser continuing the offense. Kaiser back to the ring. Referee's about to be at a count of nine in a moment. AJ's got to get back in here. And then he does. Styles breaks the count. Trying to grab Kaiser and Alex just for the Enziguri. Kaiser rolling to the outside. AJ still finds himself between a rock and a hard place between Vinci and Kaiser, former NXT Tag Team Champions. And Ludwig Kaiser may be nearing victory tonight over Styles. Nice kick by Styles. Nice forearm shot there. Oh, wait a minute. This is how AJ became number one contender. Styles clash. Will that do it? No, Kaiser gets the shoulder up somehow, some way, and AJ Styles has got to be racking his brain right now. But keeping the foot on the gas pedal, springboard, moonsault, and now Styles is heading where he's most comfortable, on that apron, with his eyes center focused for a phenomenal forearm. And Ludwig Kaiser may be seeing stars. And will that be Guther's fate in nine nights when the United States Championship is on the line at Vengeance? Imperium tried all they had. Tried to take AJ's eye off the ball, but the phenomenal one is on a roll here on SmackDown. Here is your winner. Victory tonight for, for the phenomenal one as it's been since he returned to SmackDown. But will AJ continue to be in the winning ways? And will Styles be bringing home the United States Championship gold in nine nights at Vengeance when he goes one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever against the ring general, Gunther? It is the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, Sunday night, May the 14th, Rogers Arena, Vancouver, Canada, 5 p.m. Eastern Time for WWE Vengeance. And signed earlier tonight, it is the rubber match, 30-minute Iron Man affair, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes versus all day Austin Theory. Who is the better man we find out in Vancouver? The Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line. Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar earning himself another matchup last week. He meets Rey Mysterio for the gold. From Monday Night Raw, the Women's Championship set to be defended as the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, will defend against the new number one contender, Liv Morgan. Will Liv be the one to take down the Empress? As a six-man tag team matchup, a whole lot of scores to be settled. The Brawling Brutes form for the first time in the ring to take on Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest. Something's gotta give in that six-man tag. The United States Championship is on the line. The man who was successful moments ago, AJ Styles, meets the ring general, Gunta. It is Monday Night Raw's main event, the WWE Championship. Matt Riddle, Brock Lesnar. It has been chaos the last few weeks on Raw regarding these two men. Something's gotta give when the title is on the line. Friday Night SmackDown's main event's got some bad blood written on it as well. The world champion Drew McIntyre has been targeted by the NXT upstart, Braun Breaker, and the former two-time NXT champion is looking to see his name in the lights come vengeance when the world title's on the line. But as for SmackDown here tonight, it is main event time from Seattle. And the man who has got a score to settle with Braun Breaker, the world heavyweight champion, Drew McIntyre, may be laser focused on teaching Braun Breaker a lesson in respect come vengeance. But as for tonight here in Seattle, he's got his hands full with a former champion in his own right, a former friend, a former rival, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder 
Mahal. What a main event this is going to be here on SmackDown. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland. Weighing in at 254 pounds. The world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre has been on a roll on Friday Night SmackDown for months, becoming the face of the blue brand when he captured the World Heavyweight Championship in the main event of WrestleMania Saturday back in February, defeating Seth freaking Rollins. McIntyre was pushed to his absolute limits back on April the 16th in Minneapolis at Backlash in a match of the year contender against the franchise John Cena but McIntyre has pushed through any and all challengers thus far. He has earned his spot at the top of the blue brand, but there is a young hungry upstart who has been making a name for himself on SmackDown, who has pushed his way to the front of the line. That man is the former two-time NXT champion, Braun Breaker, and he's looking to take away the World Heavyweight title in Vancouver, nine nights away at Vengeance. his opponent from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. But as for Jinder Mahal tonight, the modern day Maharaja has got to look at this opportunity as a chance to put his name in contention for the world heavyweight title. Whether you like Jinder Mahal or not, he is a former WWE Champion and he once ruled over this very show as the man, the same spot that Drew McIntyre currently holds. Mahal and McIntyre have had many battles in the past. Tonight they reignite that flame. If Jinder can defeat McIntyre tonight, you may be looking at a future number one contender after Vengeance, regardless of who leaves the Rogers Arena in Vancouver as the World Heavyweight Champion. That all remains to be seen. McIntyre's obviously laser focused, is obviously fired up. The question is, is McIntyre's mindset already focused on Braun Breaker? Jesus! McIntyre may be looking at Jinder Mahal tonight as Braun Breaker himself coming out of House of Fire, leveling the modern day Maharaja with that lariat. McIntyre using his strength to his advantage. The powerhouse, the world heavyweight champion all over Jinder Mahal. And there's Mahal there trying to throw some lefts and, lefts and rice to get him out of that predicament. And McIntyre coming out, guns a-blazing right there. Last few weeks on SmackDown, McIntyre's been laid out by Braun Breaker by way of the steel steps and an ambush at ringside. Seven nights ago, Braun Breaker victorious here on SmackDown against Dolph Ziggler. And Drew McIntyre hitting the ring afterwards, laying out the number one contender with not one but two Claymore kicks. Business has certainly been heating up between the two men for the World Heavyweight Championship. We will find out who is going to be the face of SmackDown. Come vengeance as McIntyre looking to put Mahal away here. Not just yet. Jinder Mahal has got to be seeing stars at the current moment. McIntyre just leveled the modern day Maharaja a few minutes ago. And outside of those few lefts and rights, McIntyre's been all over Jinder since the opening bell. As we were mentioning, does McIntyre see Jinder Mahal as Braun Breaker in a way tonight? Is he looking to take out some anger ahead of Vancouver, Canada? And on the other side, is McIntyre's mind already in Vancouver? And if that's the case, if McIntyre's not focused at the matter at hand tonight, becomes a little too overzealous and a little too aggressive. Jinder Mahal may be able to find a weakness in the game of the World Heavyweight Champion, exploit it, and capitalize with a victory. All remains to be seen as your main event here at the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, Washington progresses. And Jinder taking the fight to the World Champion right now. Well, thank you for joining us once again here tonight on SmackDown. We want to remind you that just 24 hours before Vengeance, our next WWE Live event that'll be exclusive for channel members only. You're going to want to hit the join button down below, become a premium pass holder, 
Do not miss out on the WWE World Tag Team titles on the line. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet defending against Drew Gulak and J.D. McDonough, two former Cruiserweight champions in their own right. That big time tag team title matchup and so much more taking place on that WWE Live event. Again, exclusive for Premium Pass channel members. Hit the join button down below to receive that perk and so much more. Wait a minute, McIntyre going for the future shock DDT here. But Mahal, you see, able to arm drag his way out of it. Big time counter by Mahal there. And a drop toe hold takes down the world champion. Oh, wait a minute. Jinder's going for that camel clutch. Submission hold. Locked in on the champion. And Jinder, if he taps out or possibly passes out the champion here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. McIntyre counters and down goes Mahal. That was a big time maneuver there by Jinder. Able to escape that future shock DDT. And head right into that camel clutch. McIntyre trying to go on the offense, but there's Jinder again. A lot of reversals out of Jinder Mahal tonight. He is not looking to lie down and be a stepping stone for the World Heavyweight Champion who is looking to march toward vengeance victorious. McIntyre down on the outside. Here comes Jinder laying him out again. McIntyre is in trouble. They have met his match tonight. A man who knows it very well. A man who he's met in this ring before. A man he has traveled up and down the roads with before. Jinder Mahal. McIntyre. Not looking to go down without a fight. A black hole slam on the outside. And back and forth we go in your main event tonight in Seattle. And again just throwing Jinder. McIntyre. A fire breathing dragon tonight on SmackDown. He is laser focused. Hell bent on retribution towards Braun Breaker. Teaching that man a lesson in respect after he laid out the world champion two weeks ago. McIntyre wants to get to Vancouver, Canada faster than we can say vengeance as he takes down Jinder Mahal into the ring. And Drew could be looking for the Claymore kick to end this main event on a high note here. Here he goes. Oh, Mahal sidesteps the Claymore. And Ginger tried going for another maneuver. McIntyre takes him down, but the blueprint being torn up right in the face of the world champion who finds another way. Sit out, power bomb. Mahal gets out of it again. What a counter by Ginger moments ago. Sidestepping the Claymore. Again, Ginger knows McIntyre may be better than anybody. As he goes for the well too many times with that power bomb, Sunset flip on the world champion, not just yet. And what an upset it will be if Jinder Mahal could defeat the world champion tonight. And not an upset in the sense that Mahal's not capable of doing so. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There goes the Coloss. Down goes McIntyre. Mahal going to defeat the world champion. No. Jinder almost had him. This is a hell of a main event. And as we were saying, it won't be an upset in the sense that Jinder doesn't have the capabilities to get it done because he certainly does. A former champion in his own right. But McIntyre on such a roll right now. Will Jinder Mahal be the one to put out that fire? Mahal almost had him off the Coloss. And the modern day Maharaja trying to head to the top rope. Dropping the axe hammer on the world heavyweight champion. McIntyre. Might have wore himself out in the early going as well. Came out of House of Fire against Jinder Mahal with that clothesline. Was just all over his opponent. Wait a minute here. Don't count out the champion as he takes down Mahal. Remember McIntyre went damn near 20 minutes with John Cena. At Backlash and walked away the victor. And still the world heavyweight champion. Nice big boot of Mahal there. McIntyre not done yet. But the man who is trying to take out the champion tonight, hanging him up on the top rope. Jinder just needs to use the ropes to get to his feet. Drew McIntyre not well done. Wait a minute, Claymore kick on the hole. And that is gonna do it. McIntyre. Missed for the Claymore a few minutes ago as Jinder Mahal sidestepped it, led to the Colossus, which McIntyre survived. And the world champion finds another way. Claymore kick and another victory for the face of Friday nights. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre.
Big time victory for Drew McIntyre and the Scottish Warrior, the World Heavyweight Champion, is destined for yet another battle. For yet. Oh, wait a minute here. The number one contender, Braun Breaker, making his way out of the stage. McIntyre putting down the gauntlet. He wants to fight. But it looks like Braun Breaker is simply sending a message to the champion here tonight. Only one of these men can leave Vancouver, Canada in nine nights as the World Heavyweight Champion. Who will it be? We'll find out on the 14th. Thank you for joining us tonight on SmackDown, and we will see you next week. Good night, everybody! Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.